In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a research database called Academic Search Complete to find scholarly journal articles on your topic. So I'm on the library's homepage. I'm going to click the Research Databases link. Then I'm going to the database's A to Z list. I'll scroll down and I will get to Academic Search Complete. You just click on the title and the database will open. If you're at home, you might be asked to log in. And if you are asked to log in, just use the same username and password you use for Canvas. So I'm inside the database now and I have to put together a search. And I'm going to use the same search that I used um, in US Major Dailies. So I'm looking for student debt, which I have in quotes because I want those words next to each other, and college. But before I go, I'm kind of thinking that I'm looking for scholarly journal articles. Those types of articles use more formal language than newspaper articles. Are there other more formal terms that are used to describe college? And the one that comes to mind for me is higher education. So to add both of those terms in, I'm going to do an advanced search. So I'll click this button and I will split up my terms. So student debt shows up, it stays at the top. My Boolean operator and is already here on the left. I'm gonna add in college, but I also want to add an or, which is another operator, higher education. And this or is really helpful, especially if you're looking for articles that relate to a specific population, say like Latinos, because you might have to search for Latino or Hispanic. In this situation here, I'm saying, bring me back articles that talk about student debt and college, or that talk about student debt and higher education. And these terms could show up in the title of the article, in the abstract, or in the subjects or tags that have been applied to the article, and I'll show you that too. So I'll hit the search button. The first thing I want to do is limit to full text um, because it's really important that um, so I only see articles that I can read. And then because I'm looking for scholarly journal articles, um, I need to do another limit. So these those types of articles are referred to by a lot of different terms, but a good one to use is peer reviewed. If I use this peer reviewed limiter, it's going to give me articles that are in scholarly journals, but it's going to give me those that went through the peer review process, which means they should be giving me mostly research articles. So I have 206 results. Um, and you can kind of see if I look at this first one, treating higher education as an investment, if I click on the title, um, it's going to show me, you know, where these terms show up, you know, higher education showed up in the subject terms. I could look for everything in this database about higher education by clicking this hyperlink. I could also look at everything about college costs or student loan debt by clicking these hyperlinks as well. I have the abstract, which is giving me um, a summary of the article. And I can go over here to the left hand side and click the PDF to get to the full text of the article right here. And this is a 44 page article. This might be more than you want at this time, but it might be perfect for you. Um, if I come here on the right, I can see my options. I can save it in Google Drive or OneDrive, I can email it to myself, I can print it. Um, I can get the citation by clicking this little yellow piece of paper and I can copy and paste the citation here. Or when you opt to email it to yourself, you can ask the um, database to send you the citation in a specific format. Let's go back and look at the results list again. Profit and promises and profit in debt-free higher education. I'm going to go ahead and um, open that up as well. This is in the Annals of American Association of Geographers. Um, it's giving me the um, abstract. I have the full text just like the other one. This database has a little bit of everything. So um, you can see if I take off the um, peer reviewed limiter, I can also look for newspaper articles in here or magazine articles as well. So hopefully between um, this database and the other one, 
it will be really easy for you to um, find the articles you need for this paper. But if you can't, um, I'm back on um, one of the library pages. Um, if you have a hard time using your databases, either you might be looking in the wrong database or you might be using the wrong keywords to search for your topic, just look for this orange chat with a librarian button. If you click on it, you will be connected to a real life person if the library is open. We can chat or Zoom with you and we can help you find the right database or the right words to find the articles that you need. Good luck.